For the weekend, one of the world's most famous races, the Kentucky Derby, was held for the 144th time. For some residents, they didn't have to make the drive all the way to Louisville, as our uh, Louisville, that is, as our Parker King reports. Mississippi State's equestrian teams held a viewing party for those wanting to take a live view at the run for the Roses. Mississippi State's equestrian and horse judging teams gave sponsors and visitors a little taste of a tradition that spans almost 150 years, the Kentucky Derby. Since we're a horse department, you know, horse group, and, and we're all uh, members of a horse program, we wanted to do something that was supportive of or in sponsorship with a horse event. The Kentucky Derby, whether you like horses or not, you know what it is. The event is used to fundraise for the two horse teams with silent auctions and betting on the horse to win the race. In only the second year of having the event, Dr. Clay Cavender says it's helped with the success of the teams. It's really gotten big. We don't get it, um, monetary support from the department, so it's all raised by things like this. As a result, students don't pay a dime for travel, and everyone who attends still has a good time watching the most exciting two minutes in sports. It's, it's awesome that, I mean, we get to come here, and everybody, I mean, we're all just alike. I mean, if you can't tell by looking around, I mean, we're all just good Mississippi folk, but we love it here. Especially people like Beverly Avery. If you haven't noticed, the event really showcased people's hat making skills, a trademark of the Derby. And Avery had something to do with a lot of them. I was up till about one o'clock in the morning. I just enjoy um, just the craft of it. And I, I like the Kentucky Derby, it's kind of special to me. Having events like this ensure MSU's men and women on horseback are competing on the national stage. For the next year. That's the best thing. I mean, as long as it's going to a good cause, I mean, that's that's the number one priority. We, we've increased the size of our student um, participation along with getting some national recognition and along with the horse judging team being reserved national champions a couple years ago and, and having a good start to the 2018 season. In Starkville, Parker King, WCBI News.